Hey everybody, in this video you'll be getting a two-for-one special as I show you how I paint up a banner or a battle standard. Alrighty folks, so I have here just an extra little banner from one of my Age of Sigmar um, units and I'm going to show you two different ways of painting this banner, the fabric of the banner. And you can apply this to anything, to any flags or banners or cloaks or capes or anything like that. The first side is going to be a red banner and then the back side here is going to be a blue banner. So feel free to use these tips or anything, um, anything that you like. So the first thing that I've done is used Screamer Pink and I'm getting uh, two coats on here. All right, so I've thinned it down and it's about a 50-50 uh, mix and I've gotten one nice layer of Screamer Pink on this already. And now I'm going in with a second coat of Screamer Pink and it's really just going to make the colors uh, deeper and richer. I'm going ahead and I'm getting everything that I can. I'll be pretty careful around these edges and down into the creases. And here you can see with those two layers dried, it looks a lot better to begin with. Now I'm using Null Oil and I'm going to hit uh, all of these uh, creases where the fabric is nice and folded and up around the edge. And I don't need to be too careful because we're going to go and uh, clean things up and I'm getting it uh, over all of the fabric here and it's going to settle into all of these folds of the banner. I want to be a little bit careful around the edges uh, just so I don't have too much of a mess to clean up. And yeah I know I'm putting this on pretty thick but then I use the brush to spread it all around and I'm not going back to the pot quite as often. This is nice because you can still work pretty quickly using the tip of the brush to get into all these little uh, nooks and crannies. Being really careful in that edge there. All right, so we let that dry and you can see how dark it looks already. So that of course means we need to lighten things up. I'm using Screamer Pink and I'm just going along on the fabric, not letting it get down into all of those folds. I'm going across the tops and the flat bits, all of the raised areas of this fabric. I don't want to undo the work that I did with my shade. And then the last thing that I'll be doing is using Pink Horror. And I'm using this just on the, um, the highest bits, on all of the sharpest creases and folds that we've got. Um, not absolutely everywhere. Using it on the edges and on all of those sharp folds of fabric. So see, here is our red side of the banner, nice and dried up. Let's go ahead and give you a second option. Maybe you wanna have a blue banner. Uh, you could certainly do two different colors on two different sides, or maybe this is a way that you can have two different um, factions or armies in one of your uh, other games. So I'm using Cantor Blue here, and I'm being uh, pretty careful. I didn't let it get down into that area where the, the pole's going to go, and I let it dry. I'm getting a second layer of Cantor Blue on this, and yes, they are thinned down. It's about 50-50, just to give us that nice, rich color. So just like on that other side, we're going to let it dry completely, and then we want to get some shading and shadow work. So I'm using Drakenhof Nightshade in here, letting it get all over all of the surfaces of the fabric, and it'll settle into all of those folds. Being a little more careful down along the edges of these jewels and up along the top where it gets a little fancy. And yes, that's going to spill over a little bit when I do that ring, but you can always clean that up with a, a metallic later. I'm going back to my Cantor Blue, and this is not thinned down quite as much. It's not 50-50, but I'm only letting it get on those raised areas, the flat raised areas. I'm not letting it seep down into the folds of the fabric where we have our shade. Of course, we still want to highlight all of the sharp folds and edges, and so for that, I'm using Calder Sky. It's a nice, it's a really nice light blue color 
along the sharpest folds and along the edges. And I don't think I thinned this. Um, I'm just uh, taking it out of the pot and taking it over to a wet palette so that I don't have too much on my brush. Um, but I'm using so little of it, I don't think I bothered to thin it down. Once all of that is dry, I go through and I use a little bit of brass and gold. I attach the pole and I do some of that gym work and there you have it. A beautiful standard that any of your miniatures would be proud to carry into battle. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. We've got a lot of different kinds of videos and plenty of painting tutorials out there. If you really like what we do, then check out our Patreon page where you can get early access and it's the best way of supporting us so that we can make videos like this for you more often and more regularly. A big thanks to all of our patrons, especially to Sean. If you want to support our channel, you can head over to our Patreon page and check out the perks of being a patron. So thank you so much, and until next time, I'm Ryan, and this is Roll for Initiative. Bye! Mm -hmm.